everyone. Welcome to another episode. Today we're talking about air cargo in June. Yep, Timothy, we are finally breaking free. <laughs> so, you know, we have had a, a crazy start to the year. You know, you got your first quarter starting off pretty normal, down a little bit. And then we've got COVID lockdown things hitting and disrupting things in crazy ways in April and May. And in June, we finally start seeing some uh, ice melting, so to speak. Um, it's still pretty bad, though. <laughs> so air cargo is still looking down about 17.6% in June. So I think in the month of May, we were looking at it down about 20%. So June 2020, we're looking at, we're still down 17.6%. Okay, so um, part of what's going on here, it's interesting, is air freight as a mode is losing a little bit of market share to some of the ocean. So in a, in a typical slowdown economically, you're gonna see uh, air freight as a premium mode and ocean freight obviously is cheaper. So you're gonna see uh, the shippers move to the cheaper modes. So that's contributing to some of this 17.6% decline because we were really expecting this to be a little uh, better number, but we're down 17.6% compared to, I think May was down about 20%. So North America was leading some of this recovery. You know, if you, look backwards January through June of last year. So we go and we do a little bit of 2019 and then we do same thing 2020. If we look at these time periods from this to this we're down 14.5 percent. So you know, January to June, 14.5%. We really, if you see everything that's gone on economically, um, if, if you look at the orders we were under and different type things and just how our country reacted, how other countries around the world reacted, this is a little bit, uh, I mean, surprising to me personally. So we're down about 14.5% January through June. Um, you know, as we get through really May, June, most of the strictest lockdown orders are being lifted all around the world. And, uh, you know, you've got, uh, as those lockdowns are, are being uh, lifted, we've got manufacturing rebounding somewhat. So, you know, your PMI, which is, uh, it's a purchasing manager's index. It, it's a manufacturer's metric this moved up to uh almost to january levels so it was the highest it had been since january in may so it was getting back fairly close to january levels okay so we had china here again leading the way they they'd been up four months straight china had four straight months of growth So they are kind of leading this manufacturing swing back up. You know, um, the export orders rose approximately 11 points on this scale, and that's the most it's risen in one month since 1999. So, you know, it looks like we're kind of getting back in the swing of things, hopefully. Um, one thing that you see with this oftentimes is this is going to be highly correlated to our air cargo typically. So those are typically strongly correlated. This will typically lead the way, and this has normally got a little bit of a lag to it because obviously got to make it before they ship it. So we see that going on. Here's an interesting thing going on still, though. We still have cargo capacity. Like, it's just crazy. The cargo capacity is still down. Um, so cargo capacity is, is still down in the month of June about 34%. That may not look like a four. So we're still down about 34%. I think in the month of uh, May, 
we were down about 34, 35 percent, a little, little higher, but about, about the same number. So <clears throat> in North America, we posted the, the, the highest cargo load factor, which is basically you take this cargo capacity and then we take the amount of cargo in the market and we have what's called a cargo load uh, factor. And that cargo load factor was at an all time high. What was contributing to that is if you look at what's going on, you've got a 17% drop here, but a 34% drop over here. So what that's going to create is an imbalance. There's still not enough capacity in the market to take care of what's going on. So the, the drop in the capacity is because we, we've continued to see flights be canceled and international travel is just like coming to a standstill. So international flights were down 81%. <laughs> so um, your international flights You been to Europe lately, Timothy? <laughs> so, probably not going to go there anytime soon either. So, yeah, you know, most friends, family, I don't, I don't know anybody traveling internationally at this point. A lot of people are avoiding the domestic, but the international flights have just dropped. I don't know what's going to happen in the month of June. But anyway, we've got, we've got that going on. So you, you've got these cargo capacity issues continuing to create problems because you know, the drop in the freight compared to the drop in the capacity is just disrupting the supply chain. I'm going I'm to come over here, I'll show you what's going on too internationally. You know, on, on our international cargo, we've got in North America, we've got an 8.8% .8 decline which is actually the best of any continent. So we were kind of leading the way as far as the recovery. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting, Europe and Latin America Europe was down 27.6% and then Latin America is down 29.4%. So these, co these continents are just killing uh, the overall uh, amount of cargo moving throughout the world. And these numbers are down from obviously uh, June of 2019. So we're comparing that data to then. So you got down about 28%, down almost 30% here. So when you look at down 17.6%, you know, we're only down about 8.8 .8 in North America, obviously. We, we live here in America, so we haven't felt this as bad as, as, bad as some area, other areas in the world, or is it as badly? I don't know, <laughs> Timothy. But anyway, it, it's been kind of a wild ride. I think what we're gonna try to do is, um, we're gonna try to do a little different style next time, do a, a summary of January through June, and try to take some of our metrics here, uh, create, some talking points and look at just a crazy first half of the year. It should be pretty interesting for our uh, people that are out there listening. So hopefully uh, y'all tune in next time and uh, stay safe out there.